But I just wanted to share something that is a very big milestone that happened in my life recently. So I know what you guys are thinking, you know, dog in dental school, how am I going to handle it with a lot of responsibility? You know, puppies, you know, you have to train them, you have to walk them, you have to spend a lot of time with them. And when the opportunity presented itself, we couldn't say no. Everybody, I'd like you to meet Teddy. Hi guys, so today is a little bit of a different video. It is absolutely not dental related, but I just wanted to share something that is a very big milestone that happened in my life recently. So if any of you know me, you know that I've been wanting to get a particular kind of dog for forever. I've been obsessed with them. Anytime I would see them on the street, I would just, you know, my heart would stop and I would go up to the owner and ask if I could pet them. And so I've wanted this dog for a really, really long time. And I finally made my, well, not me, but my boyfriend finally made that a reality. So I know what you guys are thinking, you know, dog in dental school, how am I gonna handle it with a lot of responsibility? Puppies, you know, you have to train them, you have to walk them, you have to spend a lot of time with them. And although all of those things are true, for one, I grew up with dogs and I'm very familiar with how to train them. I've never really been through the puppy stage with a dog. When I've had dogs, I was very little, so I wasn't the one training them. But obviously it's gonna be not just me, it's gonna be my boyfriend and I, but I'm so excited to introduce you guys to uh, my little guy. And when the opportunity presented itself, we couldn't say no. If you're new here, by the way, uh, my name is Mazina and I normally make videos for pre-dental students, but today is just a little bit different. But I'd love it if you guys could stick around, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and ring the bell so you notified when I upload. So without further ado, everybody, I'd like you to meet Teddy. He's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Yes, hello. Say hello. Yes. <laughs> He's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. He just today turned two months old. So we just got him a few days ago and I'm just over the moon so excited. Like my boyfriend and I still can't believe that he's actually real and he's here with us. Oh yes, hello. He was taking a very long nap, so he's a little bit groggy. Normally, he's much more excited than this. Uh, but yeah, I've been dreaming of getting a corgi puppy for forever, you know, ever since I first saw them. If you've ever seen my Instagram recommended, it is flooded with corgi videos, and they're just so adorable. And they're just very unique dogs. They're a shepherd dog, and I grew up with a German shepherd when I was younger, so I'm familiar with those kind of breeds. And it's funny because corgis actually have like the big tall ears and the snout, kind of like German shepherds do. But it's all miniature because look at this baby look at his paws and look at the nose and look at him he's just adorable his name is teddy he's actually named for uh theodore roosevelt i guess who me or my boyfriend who named him because my boyfriend's a history geek but i like teddy, theodore roosevelt too he's done some great things like yay environmentalism <laughs> um but so he is a little baby and I'm so excited to show you guys how this guy's gonna grow up. So I'll kind of address the elephant in the room. A lot of people were advising me against getting a dog in dental school because yes, it's true that puppies are a lot of responsibility. They are a lot of work. They require a lot of attention, but also the other side of it is that puppies are so, I mean, just not puppies in general, but dogs are so rewarding to have, you know, they're your emotional support animals. You know, if you're having a hard day, they're always excited to see you and just there for you. And I mean, look at this guy, like how could you, how could you be upset when you see this face? You know, he's just, <laughs> look at him. He's just adorable. And I, even though it's been hard the last few days, you know, he wakes us up at like 6.30 in the morning and we have to take him for walks and, you know, potty training has been challenging, but it's, it's all worth it. You know, I've wanted a corgi for so many years and we found a really good breeder actually through a recommendation of one of our neighbors when we saw a corgi and our breeder is absolutely amazing. Look at him. He just loves the camera. Look at him. <laughs> um, so she was very responsible. She sent us a pedigree of both parents that we knew that he wasn't at risk for any of the genetic problems that corgis sometimes are at risk for. And obviously with uh, purebred dogs, you want to be careful because sometimes breeders do inbreed them. If they're not, yes, I know. I know. <laughs> if they're not very responsible. And so that's why we waited for a long time. And once we found a responsible breeder, obviously you can't really, get, unless you go to sort of a puppy mill place, you can't really get a puppy on demand. So you have to wait for a little while until, I know, I know, until a litter becomes available and until they're ready to be taken home because you can't really take a puppy home earlier than eight weeks. And so <laughs> licking my arm right now he's teething so we're we're trying to train him out of biting our arms and getting him to teeth with toys um so yeah so we're trying to do that 
And the thing is, yeah, we found a really good breeder. And so when she posted that she had puppies available, she had four available females and we wanted a male. So there were only two available and we just had to balance the chance. You know, it would have been better maybe to wait a little bit once school has settled down a little bit. But honestly, this little guy, when we saw a picture of him, he was just, he stole our hearts. And so we got him and so we we're really excited. I just, you know, to address the, the 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 people who doubt you know whether or not it's possible to have a dog in dental school i actually have three classmates in our class who have dogs as well if i'm having a hard day obviously yes they're like you know friends boyfriends whatever significant others it is but these guys are just going to be your best friend for years and i couldn't pass up an opportunity i've wanted a corgi for so long that it's not the best time but it's the perfect time for him and so I'm, <laughs> there you go, he's biting my arm. Um, but I'm just very excited and I'm excited to show you guys how this guy grows up. And so I vlogged a little bit of his first few days. Obviously we were very much just captured by him and just wanted to spend as much time with him as possible. But I did film his first few things. Oh. Yes, exactly. I filmed his first puppuccino experience at Starbucks and then I also um, show you guys how he likes to take a nap. So he is a puppy that naps a lot throughout the day and so there are certain times where he just like naps in the funniest position and um, I filmed that as well. And then also, you know, just how <laughs> his first interaction with some different foods was also really cute and just how he's exploring the world. But also, I'm just really happy to finally have a puppy again. You know, I grew up with dogs and I haven't had one in many years because I was living with my parents, our buildings never allowed them, uh, animals and so now that I'm living somewhere else, I'm so excited to finally have a dog again because they really are your best friend. They're, they're going to be there for you. They're, they're such loyal companions and especially corgis, like any other herding breed, they're very, very intelligent. So that means that they are also really good at wrapping you around their little paws if you let them. So don't let them. But so yes, I think he's getting a little tired of me holding him like this because he just woke up from a nap. So I'm interrupting him right now. But yeah, there you go. This is Teddy. Say hello to everybody. Say hello to my subscribers. Oh. Yes. Okay. He's tired. Okay. I'm just going to let him nap because... I woke him up and they they tell you it's true you never wake a sleeping baby because they will get cranky but he's being good so far his his first his first moment on camera was actually pretty good okay I'm gonna let him nap over here because <laughs> he's a little tired even though he woke us up at 6 30 a.m so I wish he would you know nap like this in the morning but you know you get what you can get he's looking for a comfortable spot oh there you go yeah he found a good spot there you go Okay, okay, so stay tuned for more footage from Teddy and myself in dental school. You guys will be seeing him a lot, hopefully, if he ends up liking being on camera, which I think he will. Cappuccino. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Still trying to figure things out. Good job, buddy. Teddy. <laughs> He's literally eyeballs deep in this. His eyelashes have. <laughs> it's okay, we'll clean him up. Teddy, <laughs> oh, come on, get your head above water at least for a second. Breathe. Okay, there you go. There you go. Here. All right, buddy. It's just a carrot. Bite. Few moments later. He was running around like five seconds ago. Now he's tired.
recommended videos. These literally, like, corgi puppies are literally everywhere. What are you doing? I'm listening. Wait, am I in the shop? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Babe, please. Well, I want to see You're that. in the wait, shop. Wait, can, I get, can I get in a position where I'm not in the shop? No, wait, it's weird. Wait, how about right here? No, because he's going to keep looking at you. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> So anyway, look at, the, look at that face. And look at the butt. Look at the butt. You can see the butt. It's heart-shaped. Did you guys know that, by the way, that corgis have heart-shaped butts? <laughs> because uh, a lot of people don't actually know this, but... Oh, oh no. Okay, someone had an accident. Got you. Gotta go.